We got the attention of another buzzard. Oh, he's in he's in here. <laughs>Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. Uh, our map is made up almost entirely of wasteland generated by the nitrogen map generator, world generator, uh, by Damocles. And, um, yeah, so it's Horde Night. It's going to start in 15 in-game minutes. And uh, we basically, <clears throat> excuse me, if you didn't catch the last episode... We're basically hunkering down on top of this uh, junkyard that we found. Um, <clears throat> I don't really have the the means to fight the horde tonight, so we're just going to, like I said, hunker down and hope for the best. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat. Uh, if things go south on us, hopefully I'll have enough time to be able to jump off the building and get down to the mini bike, which is right there, all fueled up and ready to go. Um, and, you know, then we'll still probably die. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll try to get away. We'll just see how things go. Okay, so um, we made a little a little hut up here um, just in case we get, you know, boss vultures or any vultures for that matter. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully the boss vultures don't try and spit and break uh, these blocks, but we'll just have to see how that goes. The thing about boss vultures is uh, you get them even on normal nights in the, uh, in the wasteland. Okay, so the plan's going to be that... Um, I'll, I'll keep you with me for the first few moments of the Horde Night, but then I'm just going to pretty much sit here and do nothing. Um, but I'm going to keep the recording running, so that way if something crazy does happen, you know, I'll catch it on film. But if nothing crazy happens, then I'll just meet you guys in the morning, and then we will continue on our journey on the hunt, the search for the green biome, the paradise biome. Okay, well, let's hope this, uh, let's hope this junkyard holds up. That sounds like a pretty nasty Horde. We'll, ha we'll wait and see. But anyway, yeah, we've been uh, having having a good time so far in the stairs. I've been enjoying it. Playing in the wasteland is pretty crazy. Uh, you know, it's it's different, but it has advantages too. I mean, one of the, one of the nice things about the wasteland is there are resources all over the place. Woo! Somebody stepped on a landmine. Um. The uh, about the only. Damn. Uh, the, the, the sound in this game is, it's always been a little wonky. It sounded like that was like right next to me, even though it was right below us. Anyway, um, what was I saying? The, uh, yeah, about the only, you know, ore based resource that you can't get in the wasteland is, is oil shale, but you can find everything else. Plus, you know, iron in particular is just all over the place. There's tons of cars. So, you know, gasoline's really not a problem to get. Because of the fact that there are, you know, so many cars, even though there isn't any oil shale. And, uh, you know, lots of stone. A lot. There's plenty of wood with the trees and even, you know, coal. But you you can find coal, you know, in the in the ground, though, too. So uh, clay is just a couple blocks below the surface. So it really isn't that bad. Um, you know, I, I was concerned about, you know, getting meat in the wasteland. But, I mean, there are so many rattlesnakes um, that you know, that come to you, and they're not too terribly hard to kill, and so, you know, meat hasn't been a problem either. Of course, there's birds nests all over the place with uh, with eggs and that sort of thing, so. But it is it is dangerous. It really is. Um, you know, if you guys have been watching the last couple of episodes, traveling is really, really hard because, you know, b the buzzards aggro you all the time. I can hardly get 100 feet down the road before another damn buzzard's coming after me, you know. So there is that. you got to watch out for the landmines and that sort of thing, too, but... Uh, it's been a, an interesting experience so far. The one thing that um, that I tried not to do, and I kind of learned this the hard way, is you really do not want to be out at night in the wasteland. You just don't because, I mean, the nasty shit comes out on day one. You know, I mean, I, I was seeing uh, whites and ferals and cops on day one at nighttime in the, in the you know, in, in the wasteland biome. So I've pretty much gone back to the... The, uh, uh, you know, more traditional play style in this game where you hunker down for the night and you're not out and about at nighttime doing stuff. Because normally I, I, do, I, I don't mind being out at night because I play on in, uh, on insane difficulty and uh, nightmare speed all the time anyway. So they're already running. So it's not that big of a deal in the other biomes, but in this biome it is a big deal. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm making a point not to be out and about at night if at all possible. 
So anyway, it sounds like the hordes are definitely making a good go at it down there, but let's just hope and pray that this, uh, you know, this uh, junkyard will hold up for, for the night. And uh, like I said, I will keep the camera rolling, but if nothing significant happens between now and morning, um, I will bring you guys back in the morning and we will go from there. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys, um, it is almost morning. Um, just now, right before I started talking, this block broke, which means there's some SI weirdness going on. Uh, but other than that, uh, everything has held up. So uh, that's good. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to this end of the building and kind of, you know, pull them all this way. And then we're going to sprint uh, towards the bike and then bugger on out of here. And then uh, maybe we'll come back after they despawn and just survey the damage really quick. All right, let's go. See ya, suckers! So we'll get down the road just a little ways, far enough away for them to despawn, and then we'll go back and take a quick look before we move on down the road. All right. That should probably be far enough. And we got a buzzard already. Two buzzards. Okay. Ah, right, let's just take a, a quick look and see what they did to the building, just because I'm curious more than anything. Make sure you're loaded, too. Okay, so they look... So they did most of the damage to the floor, which is interesting. Because, you know, that... We were just right up above here. They did very little damage to the walls. Very little damage. I kind of went to town on this a little bit, but... Uh... All right, cool. Well, that uh, that actually worked out quite well. And the only reason the block on our, our hut collapsed is because, you know, of what they were doing right below it there. So, I mean, this building could be very easily repaired and used again at another point in time. But however... Uh, it's very unlikely that I'm going to be anywhere even near here uh, by the time the next Horde Night starts. So, okay, let's uh, let's take a look and see where we're at. So, we, we went quite a ways north. Do we have two buzzards or just the one? I think it's just that one. There he comes. Let's see if we can sledgehammer this guy. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Maybe we should start doing that and try and save some of our shoddy shells. Okay, anyway, um... Now what? Oh, for goodness sakes. I'm, I'm thinking, um... I want to kind of head back inland a little bit. And st but start working our way north. So we're going to, you know, the basic idea here is, do we get rid of that guy? Uh, the basic idea here is I want to kind of cover the northwestern portion of the map. So um, it's very unlikely, you know, that, that the green biome is going to be this close to the, you know, to the coastline. So I'm thinking we go back this way and and uh, maybe try this highway and see, you know, if, if that can get us, you know, fairly far into the northwestern part of the map. So let's give that a shot. Also, I think what I'll do now, too, we, we talked about doing this uh, a couple of episodes ago. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and um, time lapse, put, put some music on and do some time lapse uh, for this next little leg of the trip.
All right, guys, I'm back. Oh, man, I am so, so freaking frosty right now. How many how many lockpicks did that did that take to break into that? It broke. It took every single lockpick I had. Every single lockpick I had. Oh, that's frustrating. That is so frustrating. I just made a big mistake too, because as soon as I tabbed out to turn my camera back on, as soon as I tab back in, we're gonna fire around and it's gonna wake up a bunch of zombies. Oh well, let's do it. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Woke up a couple. All right. Well, um. I came up here not only for the loot, but also for the view. Um, so what we're going to do is, let, let's actually, yeah, we, we woke the dead down there for sure, but, oh well, whatever. Uh, let's loot these boxes here. Ooh, that's nice stuff here. And then we're going to, we're going to take a gander around <clears throat> from this high place here and see if we can uh, spot anything. But based upon everything I've seen so far... I'm of the opinion that um, our forest biome is not in the northwest. I don't care about that right now. Who knows? I might need it by the time we get off of here, though, huh? I'll grab. I'll grab them if I have room. All right. Cool. So we. Uh, we replenished, or at least partially replen replenished our um, our spam, which is awesome. Uh, we got a mod here, a temper blade mod. So let's put that on the machete. Nice. Okay, and then uh, we got the, the, we got this nice pistol upgrade in the drop there a little a little before I came back. Um, let's drink this just to get rid of the, the slot. Um, okay, and then we got a new hunting rifle. Is it better than what we have, though? Let's double check. We'll take the mod off of here. So this is what we currently have. This one has four points less damage. It's got a little bit better range and a little bit more durability, but four points less. That's fairly significant. And it doesn't have a significantly larger range, and the durability is just not important, really, with all the repair kits that we can make. Boy, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we stick with this one. I really am. I hate to do that. I'm not going to scrap this though because it does have the extra slots. So in the long run, it could, it could actually, you know, turn out to be better. Uh, okay, let's put this back down here. Um, I will grab those just in case I fall on the way down. You never know. It could happen. Okay, let's take a look. Let's get all the way up here and just kind of take a look around. So that's basically due north, and all that water out there is going to be the end of the map because we're pretty close to it. And, you know, what, what did I just do? I don't know. Uh, and looking out to the northwest, um, again, we got a bunch of water there. So I think there's, yeah, I think that's actually the border. And, I mean, if there even was a forest biome out here, it would be so small, it would be pathetic. But, I mean, you know, we we were, we were looked over this way and we didn't see it. There's like a little mountain range. It's kind of, you know, that mountain range. But there's no way there's a forest biome on the other side of that because there's just not that much land left. So I'm pretty sure we do not have a forest biome in the northwest of the map. Uh, we do have a town, however, uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, what time is it? 6 I'll, I'll probably actually spend the night here in this town before we set off in the morning. Um, so, yeah. So I think what we'll do is we'll head on back down. Hopefully we can get down without attracting too much attention. I kind of noobed out and fell, fell down this hole here. It's a good thing I didn't fall all the way down <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have been really bad if we would have fallen all the way down. Uh, so let's see if we can get off the roof, and then um, I'm just going to, you know, kind of take a quick gander at this town and, you know, find a stout POI to spend the night on. I don't really want to spend the night up here um, just because, you know, we have so many nasty zombies to we have, that we have to get past. So we'll find something that's not quite as as dangerous to spend the night. And then, um, oh, you know what? There's a, there's a cathedral over there. So, yeah, what we'll probably do is we'll probably go... 
up into the steeple of the cathedral, loot it, and then just hang out there uh, for the night. That's a, that's a good place to, to do that. Um, and it's safe to get up there, too. Plus, there's some good loot in there. Uh, oh, man, I am so pissed about my lockpicks, though. I mean, you know, granted, I don't have any skill in it. I get that. But, I mean, that was just some shitty luck. That was the worst luck I think I've had to date in this game with lockpicks. Ugh, frustrating. Okay, anyway, move on. Move on. Um... So how's our time doing? Yeah, I think it's probably about time to wrap up this episode. So, um, no, you know what? Screw it. I'll I'll, have, I'll keep you with me a little bit longer, long enough to get to the church steeple. How's that? Let's do that. Okay, we gotta be quiet. You guys couldn't tell this in the you know when the music was going on, but I actually aggroed a couple zombies down here coming up here, and the zombies inside of here are nasty, absolutely nasty, probably even more so because this is a wasteland biome. So we just got to be really quiet getting off of here because they can actually break out of this building and get up here at us. So we just got to be super duper 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 super super quiet. There's some more Shamway crates in that silo, but I don't think I'm going to take the time right now to try and get them. I think I'd rather just get off of here. Okay, nice and quiet like. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll go hit the church steeple. I'll show you what the loot is in there. And then uh, we'll wrap up this episode. Sounds like there's a zombie walking around inside the factory. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Alright, so I put a few things in this chest. We're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to decide what we're going to keep and what we're going to take. So, let's see. We can put a couple things in here. Let's put that in there. Uh, the paper can go in there. What else? Anything else? Nothing that's jumping out at me. Oh, man, I'm frosty about that lockpick. Oh, we didn't check the shotguns either. Um, this actually only has one damage less, and the other one's got the mod on it. What about this one? Oh, it's definitely better than this one. Okay, well, you know what? I'll change that out later. This is a dangerous place to be doing that right now, especially with that zombie right over there. I'll take care of that in the church steeple later. All right, so let's see. We don't have any slots left in the bike. I think we've moved everything over to the bike that we can. Um, we could... S yeah, let, let's scrap this. If I had a trader, I wouldn't do that, but I don't. And I don't know when we're going to find the trader. So let's scrap that. And uh, didn't I already have stun baton part? Oh, you know what? I put those in the chest, didn't I? Okay, we're leaving those behind. That's not a high priority right now. What would I like to take with me? I'd like to take... Um, we need the torches because we have no other source of light. We might as well take the feathers because we're going to loot more along the way. Kind of want to keep the seeds. And, you know, the I can live without the rest of this stuff. I mean, I kind of hate to leave the water behind. This is just a level one baseball bat, so... Handgun parts would have been nice to keep, but we need to save a little more room, you know, for what we're going to find up in the steeple as well as, um, you know, the trip back, too. Okay, let's head over there. More food. Hold still. Oh, we missed. Didn't miss that time. All right. You guys might have noticed, but I'm, I'm trying to get my junk turret to kill the snakes, but it doesn't work so well. <laughs> All right. Where's that snake at?
Hello, Sammy the Snake. Ricky the Rattlesnake. Where the hell did you go? I heard him. There he is. Okay. Yeah, the junk junk turd has a little bit of a little bit of trouble with the snake. Oh, he got him. He got him. Okay. Cool. Half the time he doesn't get him though. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but <laughs> he doesn't usually get him. Okay, cool. I did confirm off camera that the machete does get the same amount of meat as the hunting knife, so I scrapped the hunting knife. All right, um, let's put those in there. That'll save us some room. Okay, let's quickly check these sh uh, these shotguns. I think the orange one is better than this one. Let's take the duckbill off of it. Yeah, it's better in every way. Okay, so that's our new shoddy, our new secondary shoddy. Okay, and this guy, um, oh man, I want to, I want to keep the, sh the parts for that, so let's just keep it for now. Let's just keep it for now, and I can always scrap it, you know, if we find another junko, Junker shotgun. Okay, so what are we doing? We're going over to this cathedral. Just kind of scoping out the town here a little bit too. Oh, here comes a buzzard. Okay, so we got a, a pass and gas. Do a quick check of the pumps there for the gasoline. Day's End. Carl's Cars. Good place to get cars. Another buzzard. Yeah, this blue pistol was a nice find. There's a Fats Food. Another... Passing two passing gases, the big passing gas. That's nice. Is this that house that has like the big? No, it's not. The big underground uh, la laboratory. Of course, that could be a, <laughs> a few different houses in this game, huh? Uh, all right. Let's head on up to the steeple, see what the fat loot is, and then we gotta wrap up this episode. If you guys haven't seen me do this before or seen someone else do it, um, this is a really, really easy and, you know, basically really easy to get to loot. The only downside to it, you, you can get up here without any, you know, fear of zombies or getting attacked as long as you stay on this side of the steeple. If you go on the other side, then you have to deal with buzzards. Um, however... The only downside to coming up here, in the early game anyways, or if you have the luck with lockpicking that I do, why can't I loot that? Is there is a really large, uh, I think it's either a 7 or a 10,000 hit point chest in here, and it's locked. <laughs> so that's not going to be a problem for us because we've got our auger, but... Just something to think about if you guys uh, try and loot this place in the early game on your playthrough. But yeah, you can walk up here. No resistance whatsoever. There, Like I said, there are a couple of... Oh, I guess I made too much noise, so the vulture did come up. But yeah, there's two buzzards down there. But if you're more quiet than I was, then you, sh you, can, you can get up here without them aggroing. There's usually another one down there. Yeah, I don't want to get out too much further out or I'm going to fall. Okay, let's check out the loot and then we'll wrap up the episode. So we'll do the weapons bag first. Compound bow and a steel spear. 
Okay, that's pretty good stuff. Let's grab all of it for the moment. Check the med supplies. Okay. Uh, we got a shoddy messiah crate, and we've got these I'm going to... Uh, our crossbow does a lot more damage and has a lot more velocity. So as cool as these things are, uh, I don't think so. So we're going to scrap these, and what do we get if we scrap those? Oh, we get bow parts. Okay. Uh, all right, let's check this. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. And then the shoddy messiah. And we're not gonna ha we're not gonna have room for what's in this crate, <laughs> but we'll figure something out. We'll have to we'll have to sacrifice a couple more things. Um, let let's take those for sure. Um, this I'm not really doing clubs, and we're not taking junk junk uh, junk tire parts. Okay, what is this? How does this compare to my green spear? It's better in every way. Uh, except for that the green spear has another mod slot, but still the steel spear is is overall better. If I had a, a vendor, I'd sell that, but since space is super limited, we're going to scrap that guy. Um, I'd like to keep the blueberries for seeds. I think we have enough blueberries to make seeds, so let's just eat that. Oh, we need the inventory space right now. That's what's most important. Okay, um... Okay, that gives us two slots, and actually we can repair something. What's What needs to be repaired? Our spear. The spear we just found needs to be repaired, so let's repair that. Okay, and then that will give us, uh, that gives us three slots. All right, let's get this opened up, and then we'll get the episode um, wrapped up. I do have, don't I have, uh, I thought I had one more lockpick. Why am I not seeing it? Did I, what the hell? Lockpick, 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 lockpick. What did I do with... Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm blind. I am so blind. All right, here we go. Let's just try it. There's no no point in not trying it. After the luck we had last time, the game owes us, man. Oh, you son of a... Okay. Guys, I'll see you in 10 years from now. Actually, no, it won't take that long. Okay. What do we have in here? Ooh, a compound crossbow. How does that compare with our current... Our current is actually 11 more damage. In fact, it's better in every way except for a little bit of durability. Oh, that sucks. I would have liked to have had the comp compound. Okay, we'll take the bolts. We'll take... We got the attention of another buzzard. Oh, he's in, he's in here! <laughs> Okay. Shotgun shells. Um, this is not going to be as good as our steel sledge. Nope. Uh, so scrap a doodle that. Another hunting rifle. And it's inferior to both. But what that means is... I don't have room for three hunting rifles. So we're going to scrap that. We're going to scrap these. Uh, we're going to scrap the leather leg armor. We're going to scrap the compound bow as soon as we have some space. Uh, what about these? These are one less armor rating, but two plus two effect resistance. What are we wearing right now? We have... Uh, we got these guys on, but we don't get... We don't get an extra slot with orange. And it has one less... Even though it has two more effect, it has one less of that. So I think durability doesn't matter. We're just going to scrap those two. Okay, 44 ammo. Um, what the hell am I going to do with that? <laughs> okay, here's what here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Put a couple things in here so I have some room to work. Uh, even though this hunting rifle has more damage, the green one has more slots. So I think we're going to go... With the greenie. And then we're going to scrap this for parts too. Just to get a little bit of consolidation going here. Um, oh man, I'm going to scrap those too. I hate to do that, but 
We, we need the space. What we're going to have to do, too, is that I have room for, for this in the, in the bike. Uh, we're going to have to go home tomorrow because we're out of space. We're completely out of space, and I'm starting to leave stuff behind or scrap things that I don't want to. But we're not going to do that until tomorrow because it is almost nighttime, and I am going to hang out in this steeple at night, just go semi-AFK again until the morning because we do not want to be out at night. And then the plan will be that we'll... Maybe we'll swing up and, and hit this treasure really quick because we're pretty close to it. And who knows, maybe when we get up there, we'll be able to look out over this way and spot something important. Um, but we are going to head back down to our town and, you know, drop off all our stuff and kind of regroup before we head out another direction. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.